A4 Sky Dork presents top 20 favorite anime of all time. Hello, once again, audience. It is I, Dan, here, aka A4 Sky, on another video on A4 Sky Dork. Oh, this is my top 20 favorite anime of all time video. And here is the hardest part. Here's my challenge. I'm going to try and rattle this off. Here we go. We're going to go from 20 to 11. Three, two, one. At number 20, we have Cowboy Biba. Number 19, we have Yu Yu Hakusho. Number 18, we have A Lost Star. Number 17, we have Mobile Suit Gundam 00. Number 16, we have Attack on Titan. Number 15, we have Jifters. 14, number 14, we have Black Clover. Number 13, we have Hunter x Hunter. Number 12, we have Tokyo Ghoul. Number 11, we have Jujutsu Kaisen. That's, I think, as fast as I can rattle those off. Woo! Now we're going to get into the top 10. The top 10. I did all of that in like 20 seconds. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe I should have tried to do it even faster. But the faster I do it, the faster the pictures plop up. Okay. All right. Let's get focused, focused. So in the number 10 spot, we have Bleach 1000 Year War. Disney. Thank you for buying the rights to this and for um, putting it together. The voice acting is so much better than the original Bleach series. Like, I I do enjoy the original Bleach series, uh, but, th like, how the Thousand Year War is put together, like, the voice acting is like how the Bleach movies are. Well, actually, it's even better than the Bleach movies. And the Bleach movies' voice acting is better than the Bleach show. Uh, the original Bleach show. Um, yeah, it's all. It took one person when I was watching the Bleach show. I was so close to the to the end of the series, and they were like, "The voice acting in this is horrible." And I thought about it, and I was like, "It is very corny voice acting in the original." So thank you Disney for making a masterpiece out of Bleach One Thousand Year War. Even though there's only one season right now, second season comes out in July. I believe, very soon, July 6th. Oh my gosh, that's coming out, like, shortly after this video is uploaded. Uh, so yeah. And then we have number nine, Rurouni Kenshin. Classic anime. Oh my gosh. Ah. So, Kenshin Himura, one of my favorite characters in any anime. Uh, that's why this reached like my top 10 it stayed in my top 10 for a really really long time i believe it was 20 years ago the first time i actually watched roni kenshin and i have all the movies um from the original anime um i have one or two of the live action movies which they did really well with those uh but yeah it's like ugh, I, I love when they throw history like historical things into movie or not movies but into anime like i love the history that is thrown into this with the whole like that time in japan um the meiji era and yeah so now we're going to number eight i don't want to talk too much about any of the topics or any of the anime um because i'm trying not to make a you know an hour-long video like i did with my original top 10 favorite anime so now we have Kenichi at number eight um there's another classic it was 12 years ago i think was when i saw this um even though it's way older than 12 years the anime uh, but i came across it uh kenichi reminded me a lot of myself um so it has a uh, place in my heart the anime um kid for real weak uh, like skinny and everything trying to uh become stronger uh, learns martial arts, uh, and then becomes a complete badass. So, like, the whole wanting to be stronger to protect, like, your friends, your family, like, the ones you love, um, protect those who cannot protect themselves also. Um, that, that right there, like, I love that theme with anime. Um, so, yes, now we're going to go into number seven, fairy tale. That was my favorite anime when I was watching it years and years ago. 
Um, but there's other anime that have come out since uh, that I've really fallen in love with. Um, so, yeah, Fairy Tale is number seven. We have number six. Yes, I know, this is one of the biggest anime of our time right now. It's so big that it crashed the Crunchyroll website with the final episode of the current season, Demon Slayer. I know, I know, it's not in my top three or top five. It's close to making my top five, but the the ones the ones that are rated higher for me have more meaning to me, um, and I've just watched those. Um, yeah. And there's more, there's more episodes of like, well, actually, no, though one of them, there's not, there's about the same amount of episodes as there is in Demon Slayer. But yeah, so Demon Slayer, amazing anime, one of the greatest animes ever made. The greatest fight scene I have ever seen in an anime is in Demon Slayer. Oh, the uh, second season, third season, the, the arc. With uh, that the uh, that town uh, the I can't remember what it's called, but it has the sound Hashira um, that like that that battle right there with the, the upper six demon. Oh my gosh! Like, whew. the sound Hashira is my favorite Hashira. Oh, okay, so let's move it on. Let's get moving <laughs> to number five. We're now in the top five. The whole entire Dragon Ball universe. Okay, Dragon Ball Super is my favorite, but I've been watching since 1994. That's a long time. 1994, that's almost 30 years. Oh my gosh, wow, yeah. That's, yeah, that's... 30 years I've been watching this series from the original Dragon Ball show. I used to wake up Saturday mornings really early. Um, I'd turn the TV on. I'd watch an episode. I usually fall asleep towards the end of it. It's little kid me or uh, when I was a kid. Um, but yeah, it was super early. It was like four in the morning, I think it was. It was on. Um, but yeah, and then Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Dragon Ball Z got annoying for a little while with me, though, even though the show is amazing. Uh, but I tell everyone, like, the Frieza arc, or the, the Namekian Saga, or Namek Saga, through the Frieza arc, like, they just drag the, that, like, it takes forever. And watching it on TV with the episodes not being in English yet, and having to wait for the new episodes to come out... We're going to translate and get it all edited for the States. It was so many years before, like, like it was like a five or six year process from the Namekian or the Namek saga through the Frieza saga, just watching the same episodes over and over. So I've seen those, I don't know, over 12 times each episode of those. Um, but yeah, it gets better after that saga. But anyway, and then the Dragon Ball Super, the voice acting's great in it. There's actual, like, story in it, and it's not just all fighting. And I, like, now that I'm older, I appreciate a good storyline. Or just storylines in general in, like, in shows, movies, all that. Like, that's how I rate movies. Like, is it a good story? That's one of the, like several things I, right now I don't have time to count through in my head how many things I rate movies on or shows or any of that but yeah so now we're moving on to number four Dr. Stone Woo! brilliant such a brilliant anime the science in the episodes everything oh my gosh the new series that came out oh Dr. Stone is just such a brilliant anime i i love science and the fact that like thousands of years go by everyone's turned to stone and then um the main character i'm terrible with names i should have did my research and wrote the name down but the main character genius um and 
he's the first one to like crack out of the stone uh, because over those thousands of years, he just kept his mind going. And he, so pretty much everyone has to start from the stone age and work their way through. So it's cool to see the advancement of like all the different ages that humanity has went through in technology and the main character is just doing all of that, like through it. Um, so yeah, Dr. Stone, whew, beautiful, beautiful anime. <laughs> There's a lot of funny stuff in it, a lot of like comedic relief and oh okay so we're moving on to the top three anime my top three favorite anime of all time here we go Woo! we have number three three full metal alchemist brotherhood I love the Full Metal Alchemist show, but Brotherhood does it that much better. It does so much better with it. Um, I believe the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is based more on the manga, where the other one isn't um, based so much so off the manga. Amazing anime. I started rewatching it uh, lately. Uh, when I do my workouts is how I watch anime. I use them for like use it for inspiration and also for like a way to watch since that's the only time I have is a half hour uh, for each workout every day. Um, so Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, I recommend. I really, really recommend this one. That the other two though, number two and number one have like just everything about them. I like more, even though I've liked Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood longer. Uh, it's been out longer than both of the uh, top two that I'm about to go to. So here we go. Number two, we have Sword Art Online. I am talking about not just the anime. I'm talking about the video games. Oh my gosh. And the whole concept of Sword Art Online, how they get stuck in the first season, first series. There's multiple series in full or in Sword Art Online. I was just talking about Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, so I was about to say it again. Uh, but yeah, Sword Art Online. The whole concept of people being like stuck in this virtual world. Um, and then they have to like find out how to save everyone. Um, and like if you die in the world, you die in the virtual world that you're stuck in, you die in real life. So like all these people are it's it's horrible um that it happened in like the anime that that concept is horrible that like everyone who was playing um when um it opened up the the game opened worldwide and the creator decided to trap everyone in there and not allow anyone to leave or without dying or um so they had to like make it through a thousand floors or a hundred floor hundred floors a thousand floors I don't know why I can't remember right now, uh, but yeah, it's like they have to go all the way through and it's like the original, the first game they released, I don't like, <laughs> I don't want to grind for one level. I don't want to spend like two hours to getting one level. Um, yeah, I know I'm spoiled with how role playing games are now, but yeah, so that whole series all the way through, uh, the, um, the gun, gun gale online, I believe is the season. That's my favorite and my favorite. Actually, I'm not going to talk anymore about that. That's going to be another topic when I go through my favorite video games of all time. So oops, spoiler. Um, so yeah, the, the whole, uh, because I've loved playing video games and stuff my whole life. And, um, I love role playing games. Like those are my favorite, the Japanese role playing games and all that. So like the whole series all the way through with Sword Art Online is like one massive, even though there's like different styles of like Japanese role playing games throughout it or role playing games. It's still an amazing anime. If, if you're a gamer, you love that kind of stuff. Definitely check that stuff out. Check that anime Sword Art Online. So now. Woo. The moment 
we've been waiting for. My number one favorite anime of all time. I'm going to drop a hint before I say what it is. Is Zuku Midoriya, one of my favorite superheroes of all time. Midoriya. So, here it is. The white, what you've been waiting for. My Hero Academia is my favorite anime of all time. Just think of any superhero power, you, like any superhero power you come up with. It is in this anime. So this, this whole anime world of My Hero Academia is awesome. Like, I fell in love with the concept. Uh, when I started watching the anime, I was like, wait, what? Like, this is not stand, like, there's so many different powers. And it's not like Marvel or DC where a lot of the superheroes have similar power sets. Like, these are like everything and anything you could think of for a power. Like, the one character could shoot like the sticky tape out of his elbows that he could use to either wrap people up with or, like, swing around on. Like, what? <laughs> You're not used to that, right? And then there's a villain who has the touch, or, like, a decay touch. So anything he touches, it decays the matter. Like, no matter what, like, what it is, live, uh, organic, um, unorganic, it just rots away. Like, that would suck to have that power. Like, you can't, make any physical contact with anything with your hands like that would suck wouldn't it oh and then we have midoriya oh then bakugo and um bakugo calls him icy hot i don't know why i'm blanking on his name right now he actually has my favorite power set in the whole series um he's able to create ice and fire um uh, I don't know why I'm blanking on his name. Every time I blank on his name and he's um, the number two hero when the show starts. He's uh, the number two hero's son. Um, why am I blanking on the name? <laughs> Endeavor's son. Um, uh, I'll pop it up in the editing. <sighs> I, as I, I told you, I'm terrible with names. Terrible with remembering names. So, yeah. There we have it. We have my top 20 favorite anime of all time list. And I barely spent a minute per anime name. So, whew. And I want to say one more thing. The recent season of My Hero Academia was what like pushed this to my favorite. All the feel, all the emotions gave me the feels. <laughs> uh, I fell for Midoriya. Ah, uh, just brilliant, brilliant job. Uh, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, I don't just do video game stuff. I do stuff like this. Um, I love Japanese anime. I've been watching it for um, close to 30 years of my life. So, yeah. That's all I have for you. Have a nice day, morning, evening, night, afternoon. And we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to, right here, watch this video. Ooh, check that video. Look at that. Look at that video. That is a, a wonderful video. I think you should check it out. Subscribe. You can subscribe too. Oh, for more videos? Ah, yeah. That'd be great. I'd much appreciate it.